Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to talk about Good Manager 2 here. Now I have triangle and I have rectangular. I'm going to use Group Manager 2 to create a new group. Go find the Group Manager, click it. Now, look at here, we don't have any group because group name is nothing. Now, I'm going to create a new group. Say, the triangular group, type in triangle. And click new, to create a new group. Now, I'm going to select all the objects and right-click somewhere. Now, I have a new group called triangular. If you want, you can add some description. Let's see here the highlight. Click it. Now, I'm going to see the highlight for this group. Let's click, let's create another group. Type in rectangle and uh, go, go to create group, select new. I'm going to select all the rectangle. Right click somewhere. Now I create created a new group rectangular. Let's go highlight. Now the entire group for rectangular is highlighted. We can also change the group. Say remove. We are going to remove one object, maybe two objects. Let's try it. Now I selected the rectangular, this group, click remove, look at the command window, we have to select the objects that we want to remove, say this one. Now look at only two objects are highlighted, it means that this object, so the rectangular, the big rectangular, is removed out. Right click somewhere. Now we get back to the group manager. Let's go highlight. Look at here. So we only have two group group members. Now let's go add the big rectangular to this group. Now I selected rectangular group. Now click add. Select the object that we want to add. Right click somewhere. Now let's go highlight. Select it. Now we are going to see that all the three triangular, all the three rectangular are highlighted. We can also rename a group. This is rectangular. I want to rename it. Let's type in a name. Say rectangular group one and click rename. Now look at here group name. We call the new name. Same for the rectangular. If want if I want to rename it, say rectangle 1, click rename, look at here, we call new name. We can also explore the group. Now I select it, triangular, let's go highlight. Now the entire group is highlighted. 
click explode. Now look at here. We don't have rectangular group because it is explode. We don't have we don't have it. Now go to the group manager. We only have one group, rectangular one. Now I'm going to create a new group for rectangle for angular. Go to new. Type in a name. We need to type in a name. First, select new and uh, select all the objects that you want to add to the group. Right click somewhere. Now I have a triangular, triangular one group. Go highlight. Now we have the entire group. We may also want to see the order of the objects in the group. And now I selected triangular group. Let's go to C. Highlight. Now I'm going to click next. And now we have one object is highlighted. This is object one. Click next. We're going to see object zero, object one. Click it. We're going to see object two. Look at here. Previous object one. This is object one. Previous. This is object zero. So we have the group, and this group is going to have our number. So we can use group order to see the number of each object in the group. So this is group manager. So it's very powerful. Thank you very much for your watching.